<laughs> What's up, my degenerates? <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Plan Brew Uncut. My brain is soup right now. Vegetable soup. <laughs> no, mine is cheddar bro- cheddar broccoli. <laughs> I was thinking it could be French onion, but that's too liquidy. Mine's kind of mushy. I think mine's kind of kind of onion soup. Yeah. Yeah, you think it's onion soup? Yeah. Can you tell? <laughs> No, I can't. (laughs) I can't tell anything. Guys, we, well, we talked about it last week, how we had fucking the craziest weekend. We had Saturday in New York. We had a party. Then we had to go to Rhode Island in the morning and go for a party. 7 a.m. waking up. 7 a.m. wake up call. And then we also were stupid and went out on Friday night. So it was three days in a row. And yesterday... We had a little bit of a trip. We had ourselves a journey. Yeah, we had a <laughs> really crazy day. It was super fun. I had the blastest of a time. I was like blasting off, take off in this bitch, but <laughs> I don't feel good today. No, no. no. I'm, I'm trying my best mm-hmm. here. I tried to uh, look presentable. My very best I could, and I still care. wearing the hat that I slept in. <laughs> I, I think I slept in this shirt. I don't know. I had a seizure in the middle of the night. I literally had, we're going to tell you about the fucking shrooms experience, but it's a lot. But uh, last night, I, I don't know if you guys know, like, it's very common for when you trip, like, super hard on shrooms. Like, when you go to bed, you have sleep paralysis, especially if you have sleep paralysis. And I was laying there, and I swear you were, you. I was saying grace in my head for you to help me, but... Oh. You weren't helping me? I would have so helped because I oh wanted to talk to you so bad. Oh, my God. But like, I just I was like, oh, she's probably sleeping, so I'll just leave her alone. Well, but yeah, oh, no, my I God, my mind went sleeping. to a dark, dark place. I was in hell. I was literally physically I was trying to move so hard that I was sh- like, it felt like I was shaking. And sleep paralysis in general without rooms is horrifying. And then I was like, this is the end of my life. And I accepted it. And I laid there and I said, this is it. But I'm fine now, I guess. Yeah, I guess it's going to take a couple of days to get back to normal. Okay, well, I need to be back to normal tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> How yes. are we going to do that? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe actually we just go home, take a nap, <laughs> right? Yeah, <laughs> I'd say so. But I can't take a nap. I uh, took a fucking Vyvanse this morning. Yeah, see, I don't <laughs> think that's a good idea. That was not smart. But I wanted to have my brain right for this uh, this show we put on. <laughs> yeah, but I don't know if that's how it's going to work. Yes. <laughs> so, okay. We go to Rhode Island yesterday, and we have the event, and we're just drinking all day. We didn't really even get that drunk. Awesome beach party. Yeah, it was at Tiki Beach um, in Westerly, Rhode Island. It was, like, the coolest venue. I felt like I was in... Florida. Yes. Yeah. It was like right on the water. The water was blue as fuck. And I didn't think Rhode Island had blue as fuck water. It was really blue. It was like the bluest. I really wish I dipped my toes in. It was like that blue ass water that Cody Co always used to talk about. Blue ass water. It was blue ass fucking water. But uh, we didn't go near it, of course. We just uh, (laughs) stayed on stage, got drunk. And then when we ended like doing our show, there was these magical people there. Oh, they were beautiful. They were magical angels from heaven. The sweetest of people. The sweetest people. It was this couple that like own this mushroom business and they make all of these crazy bars. They make these teas. They like do it in the kitchen. She makes it with handcrafted love. And they were just like jumping around. Like it was like they were like, just radiating good energy. Yes. And uh, they were like, do you want some? And we were like, yeah. I was absolutely. like, I do. Absolutely. I absolutely want some. <laughs> so they went to their car and they g- gave us like two of these chocolate bars. They're fucking huge. Yeah. I've never seen bigger ones. They're, they're like this by this. Yes. They're like if that makes that. any sense. They're I could have just, just done that. They're just huge, okay? <laughs> and the guy gives them to us and says, no more than two pieces. And like takes his glasses off and says, don't take more than two pieces. So we start off with one piece. Yes. And then as time goes on, we ate the whole chocolate bar. Yes. So yeah. I mean, we just... Ate it fully all. ate the whole we thing. We ate the whole fucking chocolate bar. And he had checked in on us by like... um piece number five yeah and he said you only ate two right and we said no and he and he took his sunglasses off he goes what yeah he goes, what and i was like no no it's okay it's okay and then he started like giving us breathing exercises and things to like work us through but i also think he thought we never did shrooms before yes so we were like no we can handle this i mean whatever so we do the shrooms and the party's over the beach party closes and we, our train's not for two hours yeah so we have we're just sitting there a lot of time on our hands laughing our damn asses off yeah i have this problem <coughs> that i leak from my eyes when i'm on shrooms and i laugh and smile so hard that 
it gets my face gets locked up and i'm laughing so hard that it hurts so it looks like i'm just crying it's the funniest thing to witness oh. in my whole life oh my God. because it just it is like crocodile tears just I, like spewing down your I waterfall face i cannot stop crying it's crazy <laughs> and everyone's like are you okay what's wrong like, vinny no. vinny kept saying brie like are you good like you're crying i'm like oh i'm laughing so hard <laughs> <laughs> it just looks like i'm crying my eyes out and i don't like interacting with people that aren't tripping when I am because I know that they're like, this girl's crazy. Yeah. And then I get too much in my head and I'm like, you're going to ruin all of this for me. (laughs) And it takes one little thing to ruin it all. Yeah. Yeah. So we're waiting there and we're uh, doing it with one other person. Mm -hmm. Uh, She's great. Awesome. And we're having the best time of our lives. We're all on the same page. Just cracking up. And then we realize that we have an hour left on the beach. We're like, what the fuck do we do? And then another hour until our train comes. So we're just like, you know what? You don't need to deal with us. Drop us off at the train. (laughs) So we get dropped off at the train station (laughs) and there's no one at the train station. It's an abandoned train station and we have an hour. It was beautiful though. It was so beautiful. It was like a movie set with birds chirping and the sunshine spewing down my face. Oh my God. It was so awesome. There was like dandelion shit like flying in the air. The grass was vibrating. The grass was moving and it was (laughs) grooving. And then as we're sitting there talking about how beautiful this place is, we look across (laughs) And the sign says that we need to be on the other side of the train tracks. To get to New York. To get to New York. And there's obviously train tracks, a fence. You can't just walk over there. And (laughs) so we start freaking out. We're like, what the fuck? Why would they put that on the other side? We're we're going to have to get an Uber over. We're in a different zip code. I was freaking out. I'm like, we got dropped off in the wrong state. Like, this is clearly like, we have to be over there. How the hell do you get over there? Like, what are we going to do? Um, We're looking around. There's no one in sight. Not a like, single soul. Not one person there. Not one worker. All the windows in the train station are smashed. We're, we're saying, does anyone work here? And, and I then, think we were like singing it too. Yeah. And then if anyone even did work there, I couldn't ever talk to anyone. No. So I was just freaking out saying, no, we have to, we have to get over there. But at <laughs> the same time, we're laughing. Like we're thinking it's awesome. Yeah. And then we see that the fence like stops, like, I don't know, 700 feet away. Yes. So we're like, <laughs> I was like, Grace, we have to. We have to walk into the woods and cross the train tracks. Yeah. And she was freaking well, out. Well, uh, my head went to third rail, third rail, third rail. I I'm think like, this third rail thing's a myth. I know. No, I know it's not, actually. My great-grandfather died of a third rail. That's a real thing that I never told you before. <laughs> wow. Yes. Wait, what's a third rail? On a train track, and there's a third rail that kills you? Oh. But I think it's only the subway. No. So like electrocutes? Do, yeah. Yes. Oh, shit. He died. Rip. <laughs> he didn't get hit by a train. He stepped on the third rail. I, I, I think you're right, it. Grace. I think you're right. I, but it might be the subway because that needs electric electricity yeah. to like move. I don't think the train. I don't think the is train. Electric. But like, I had it in the back of my head. I'm like, fuck. And then I'm I'm saying, well, yeah. Everyone always talks about the third rail. And I'm saying I wouldn't mind. <laughs> I wouldn't mind stepping on the third rail, but I wouldn't want to make you have to deal with all that. I don't want to. St- I don't want to. So I like that. I mean, I, I was get hit by a train. <sighs> you just get hit and you're done, knocked out. Imagine getting <sighs> shocked into another life. <sighs> That's crazy. Runs in the family. Yeah. <laughs> that would be crazy if your dad gets shocked and then you get shocked. My great grandfather <laughs> and my father and then me. <laughs> Dude, come on. actually, yeah, that would have been perfect. That would have been perfect. That would have been perfect. We all have superpowers. <laughs> yeah, that would be crazy. Actually, yeah, I wish that we stepped on the third rail. That would anyway, be cool. well, we didn't step on the third rail. Anyways, we think it was a made-up myth, at least for where we were, because there was no third rail. There was just two. Yes. And I kept saying there's five. That one of them's gonna be the third. Yeah, but it was crazy though, <laughs> like having to go over it and like like that. It's, it's like oh, it was like playing Operation. Yes. Uh, exactly that. Like trying not to get buzzed. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So we're walking over all these rails. We're walk into the woods, down fucking no one in sight no one to stop us and say hey guys yeah this is in trouble you're in trouble so we walk all the way around and we finally get to the other side and we're in the middle of the train tracks and we have to walk to the other side of the train station so we're walking and walking walking whatever tripping like i'm tripping i'm tripping balls and it's awesome it's so funny laughs all around there's no one there the grass is beautiful and then we sit down on the bench and so, so we're looking at where we were sitting across <laughs> and we see um, this guy come into the train station and he just walks down these set of stairs like no shit goes down pops up right next to us obviously there was fucking stairs to get to the other side of the train station they wouldn't just leave you hanging like that to go walk <laughs> on the train tracks over the third rail like that makes no sense but we didn't even think to even like 
ask, well, where are the stairs to get to the other side? Like, we didn't even look around. We just said, okay, go cross. <laughs> we immediately went to, we have to cross the train station. And this isn't even, that's not even the craziest part of all of The this. train was the worst. Oh, my God. Well, it was the best. It was it was the worst. It was the best. And then it was the worst. Oh, my God. Yeah. So, we, so we're freaking out because we're realizing that on this train home, we're not probably not going to be able to sit together because every train nowadays is like single seats and you can't like pick seats on the train so we were going to have to sit separate while we're tripping balls which is just not an option so we get on the train we're saying dude i don't know what to do we're gonna have to ask people if they can move we're gonna have to crawl up to people and say listen you need to move we were saying we're gonna we're gonna go up to them and whisper and say i don't think you understand yeah but we're tripping balls that would have been crazy that would have been so crazy <laughs> imagine right? someone comes up to you and say sorry but i'm tripping balls <laughs> Especially the way I was covered in cranberry sauce and ashes. <laughs> One girl was using me as a fucking as a fucking ashtray. While we're tripping balls, Mariana taps me on the shoulder and goes, "She's using me as an ashtray." <laughs> I, I had I couldn't do anything about it. I was literally just looking down, and I have white pants on. She's <coughs> using me as an ashtray as I'm also covered in cranberry sauce, and I'm literally just like cranberry sauce. We keep calling it cranberry sauce. <laughs> my juice and i keep looking down saying am i lighting on fire the ashes are all over me i was like i don't know i don't care this is crazy and then everyone's offering us weed and i'm going no way. oh yeah and like oh i couldn't do that right now and they're like all right relax and then i just whip out the chocolate bar keep eating more keep eating more i'm like grace have more me have more yeah grace, we, have more. we took one for one each time yeah it was absolutely out of control and then we're like well what what else are we gonna do we have a three-hour train ride we might as well trip balls which was silly you should not Trip on public transportation. We should have learned that from the fucking plane ride. Yeah, we've done this before. We've done this before. We've made these mistakes before. And we just keep repeating. <laughs> I know, it's my God. It's a bad boy, cycle. Oh boy. So, so this isn't even the end of it. So we get on the train. <laughs> All right, guys, quick commercial break. So in about a week and a half or two weeks, uh, June 23rd, I'm shipping off to Lake Tahoe for the Hooters competition. So it's the uh, Hooters girls competing for the crown in $30,000. They take this very, very seriously. It's Miss Hooters of 2022. I'm super excited for this. Also, I've never been to Lake Tahoe, so that's just fun. And Caleb is hosting it. I think Caleb is like the funniest person ever. So it's going to be a great event. Also, I'm judging, which I'm kind of nervous for. I don't know how I'm going to judge a bikini contest. I'm going to go home and, I guess, Google bikini contests and watch them and learn how to judge. But um, I'm really excited for this. I've met a lot of the Hooters girls, and they're super awesome. They're super nice. I've done commercials with them before. So this is going to be a really good event, and I think all of you guys need to watch it. So you can head to your local Hooters to watch the competition live stream on the big screen it's going to be epic hosted by caleb judged by me and the beautiful hooters girls vying for the crown so head to www.hooters.com to find your local hooters on june 23rd to watch the competition live stream on the big screen i'm nervous it's going to be good though let's get back to the show as immediately as we get on the train the loudspeaker it sounds like god talking in the sky he's <laughs> saying single seats only so once you find a seat sit down we're in like the middle of the train when we get on we just start we're like hustling oh, we're to the back. It. We're booking it to the back, looking at every single seat saying, nope, 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 nope. And then we like, we'll spot two kind of near each other. And we're like, noted. Okay, noted. <laughs> yeah. And then we're just walking to the back, walking to the back. Everyone's staring at us. Staring. Meanwhile, the train is like lopsided. Well, maybe our brains were lopsided. You, but That could be true. Yes. Well, I felt like, you know, like Ripley's Believe It or Not, when you go on those tunnels that you're walking straight, but it feels like you're tripping yes. balls. That's what was happening in exactly my little that. brain. So I'm trying to hold on to the seats, just grabbing people's heads. And we're heads. screaming, noted! <laughs> yeah, noted, seat kind of right there. We could sit here. And then we make it to the end of the train. Which is also the quiet cart. The quiet cart, everyone's going, shh. It was like a midsummer, like everyone going, shh. I know, it was awful. Looking at us, I was like, oh, stop it, stop it, stop it. <laughs> and so then we get so scared. We get so scared, we just turn around, sprint again, find the bathroom, lock the door behind <laughs> us like we're getting chased and murdered. <laughs> and we just stand in the bathroom. <coughs> my phone's dead where my ticket's on, and you need your ticket to be on the train. We look like we're like these, I'm, co me, I'm covered in ashes, okay? <laughs> so it looks like we're just like these two girls that are trying to hitch a ride but don't have tickets, and we're just running back and forth and hiding in the bathroom. So the speaker's going off. Keep saying, runaways. find a seat, find a seat, and we're starving. Yeah, all we could, all, well, all day long, ever since I took the shrooms, I said, I just want to hold a hot dog. I just, I just wanted to hold it. Yeah, and like, then she kept would, putting in my head that I need to squeeze a hot dog. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh. Nothing just, weird, nothing sexual, just hold like an actual hot dog. Like squish the bun, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's I mean, all we that's wanted, all to, do. wanted to do. So then we go, we're like, okay, 
we'll leave the bathroom. We'll go get hot dogs and then we'll find seats. <laughs> and then we go to get the hot dogs. The line is three carts long. And then, I've never seen a line on a train. Well, we get in line and this train's coming from like fucking another state or something. And the guy's like, yeah, it's been closed for three hours. So now they just opened it right now and the whole line is rushing. We're like, well, we have to get these hot dogs. We need waters. We need something. We can't, we can't just walk around the train. So <clears throat> we get in line. Longest line ever. I'm crazy. I'm at this point I'm hallucinating so yeah. I keep seeing things out of the corner of my eye and then I'm looking not what I thought I was seeing and it was like really freaking me out but it was also <laughs> cracking me up and then I'm crying cracking up so we find these two seats but Grace has to stay in line for the hot dogs and I have to sit alone at the bench by myself it was like one of these the tables cafe cart. cafe cart by myself and the line is forming in front of me so I'm just sitting there alone my phone's dead I'm just looking, crying, <laughs> laughing by myself while the line just walks by. I'm just looking at everyone, staring, <laughs> laughing. Grace is alone in line. I can I'm just... staring. My, <laughs> this woman had a patterned shirt on in front of me. I'm just staring at her shirt like this. Wait, I'll post it. We'll post a screenshot of the text that you sent me. It's so fucking funny. Um, so she sends me that. <clears throat> freaking out. We're in line. You're in line for what it felt like an hour. It had to be an hour. <laughs> to be but it wasn't because this train ride was six hours long but time was moving incredibly <laughs> slow so we're in she's in line i'm sitting down there by myself and i realized how crazy this was i'm sitting there and i'm like they should make a party train like it would be so cool if people just made a party train and, and i'm sitting there saying that to myself and i think i'm saying it out loud and then i realize how I like take a step back and I realize how crazy I must look to other people and how crazy I am that I'm alone on a train cracking up by myself saying there should be a party train. <laughs> so then I start cracking up even more and then I just start crying and then it, and my face locks up because I'm laughing so hard. So I'm stuck. You must have looked so crazy. Covered in ashes. She's going, party train, party train. <laughs> it's a party train. Oh, my face is locked up. My face is locked up. <laughs> alone. And it looks like I'm genuinely just alone on this train. No phone, nothing Either to look at. Either crying up. like sad or crying happy. Yeah. Regardless, you looked nuts. Yeah, I looked crazy. <laughs> uh, and I'm just sitting there saying this is so crazy crazy and then grace gets to the front of the line calls me huge problem you don't take cash <laughs> yeah like, i don't have a debit card right now i ordered one it hasn't came i've been without one for a week that's a whole other thing yeah so i go okay i'm coming takes me a little bit to figure out how to get my wallet out of my bag and find my card in it so, so she's trying to find her card, to find my card in her bag and then all of a sudden from the sky <laughs> an american express falls to the ground and i i'm like what I go, I look to the people next to me. I go, she's crazy. <laughs> and they're like, what? And I pick up the card. I go, Brianna, do you just throw this at me? Screams down the whole train. I'm like, what? I, I, I'm like, am I hearing this? Is this really happening? So I look up. I'm like looking down the train. I'm like, what are you talking about? She's holding this American Express card saying, you just freaking threw this at me? Freaking. I'm like, what? I just haven't even had time to open my purse yet. And then I'm like, no, no. And I'm screaming, no, I did it. I'm coming though. And I'm, and I'm no one's sitting at the table that I'm sitting at. So I stand up saying, I'm sitting here. Don't take these seats. So And I have nothing to hold my place because I have to hold my purse my hand and I'm running with my card and then there's another lady coming behind me everyone's saying excuse me move excuse me move a worker I think they're talking about for me that I have to run through with the card I'm like I'm coming I don't know and then there's a lady behind me I'm freaking out I make it there and I give you the card and you're like I swear to God, you just threw this at me. I just found it on the ground. I'm like, no, I didn't. And then this guy's like, how How did you get my card? <laughs> and it was like this magical timing of the guy's fucking card fell out of his pocket right when Grace called me for a fucking card. We didn't hallucinate. It was crazy. That was real. And the guy next to me was like, that was weird timing, huh? Yeah. I'm like, you have no idea. You have no fucking idea. Literally no idea. He, he might have had an idea, though. I think he, I think he, he was, was cracking up. He was cracking the fuck up. I have a picture of you waiting in line with this squad that you were with. <laughs> and it's absolutely The lady crazy. in front of me was so drunk. Or maybe, I don't know. I don't know what was real. I don't know me fake, But she was so, I thought, drunk. Mm -hmm. She goes, oh, there's no cups for the wine. I'll just drink it out of the bottle. I said, oh, yeah, two of those for me, please. <laughs> <laughs> and we thought that they were like two like little, little baby barefoot wines. babies. They were huge bottles of wine. We huge. Got two huge bottles of I wine. I didn't even know they sold them that big. And we got our hot dogs. Oh, yeah. I tried to order four, but I got scared. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted four hot dogs. Two for me, two for you. And when I got Thank up there, I, go, I, go, I got so nervous. Yeah. I was like, 
no way I can say four. Two, please. <laughs> yeah, and then two bottles of wine. and <laughs> Two two waters, two bottles of wine, <laughs> two bags of chips, two hot dogs. Yeah, so I'm. A, she gets all the food. I'm sitting at the table. She calls me, listen, they had a whole cot reserved for us. I'm like, <laughs> what are you talking about? We just fought for this table right here. I'm sitting here by myself this whole time. What are you talking I go, about? I trust me, bro. I, and before we got on the train, we're like, what if you could, like, how there's private jets? Well, there should be private trains. Yeah. Because I would love a private train right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. So we got <laughs> private trains, potty trains. Uh-huh. And by the end of it, we just wanted a dark train. Oh, my God. Yeah. So we get this private cart train, right? And she calls me. She's like, come past the food thing. I swear to God. Go, trust us. me. So right when I get there, the whole thing fills up. It's not just us. Everyone's on it. It was for a second. And we sit down. We start to eat our hot dogs. Actually, I just shoved that shit in my mouth. I Grace was decorating decorated mine. hers like a sugar cookie. It was beautiful. On Christmas. <laughs> and she's decorating it with all the ketchup and relish. No, we're decorating our hot dogs. It was so funny. We didn't like half the shit we were putting on it. We kept saying, I don't even like this, but it looks so pretty. <laughs> we just kept decorating the hot fucking dogs. mustard relish. And we're fucking screaming. Oh, my like, God. Like, we're so loud. And we there's so, so many people right next to us. And so in my head, the cart that we were sitting at, it stopped right there. Like, I couldn't comprehend that there was more train ahead of it. Like, my brain wasn't letting me understand that. And people kept coming from this place of nowhere where there shouldn't have been any people. And I was lose my mind. Every time someone came, I'm like... Grace, this train is supposed to stop right there. Like, I, what the fuck? And I just kept saying, I don't know what to tell uh, you. It was like, <laughs> and then Drake Bell came from out there, and then these little children, and it, it was just a whole thing. We're decorating our hot dogs, and then we ate our hot dogs, and we felt so sick. Very sick. Oh, my God. Like, those rubbery dogs can't be good for you regardless. Oh, my God. It was <laughs> so bad. And then we just kept saying, big mistake we made. Why did we eat? <laughs> Why could we be so stupid? Why could we be so stupid? Why would we eat that? And then and we're like, well, we have to just eat more chocolate then. And then because we licked it dry. The chocolate tasted so good with the salty chips. Oh, yeah. We, we were using the melted mushroom chocolate as chip Des- dip. Dessert, yeah. It was crazy. We took <laughs> chips and just going, mm, nah, nah. <laughs> uh, And the train never ended. The train never ended. And then we, got, and then we finally got back to New York. And uh, I could have cu- cussed the ground. Could have cussed the ground. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Everything was so tiny. Oh, it was crazy. The tiny little cars and the tiny little people. And I was a tiny little person. Yeah, it was insane. We get into New York. Everything was smushed, smashed so tiny. We couldn't get a car. It was absolutely shit show. And then we go home. Fucking Mango and Ollie are j- sprinting around for hours, going as fast as they could, jumping on us. It was a nightmare. It was a nightmare, and they wouldn't stop. And every time they came in, I'd just pre- – oh, we had to have a sleepover. That was the other part. Oh, yeah, we also had to have a sleepover. Oh, well, I personally did. Well, because you also lost your key already. Yeah, so I moved in onto my new place on Friday. Congratulations. And thank you very much. And <laughs> I already lost my key on Friday. All right, guys, quick commercial break for – you already know what it is, the drink – of the motherfucking summer, Mamitas. I haven't seen more people in my life drinking Mamitas because we talk about it all the time. And this is one of those things where you try it, you love it, and you keep buying them. You're a return customer because they're that good. So Mamitas is hard tequila seltzers. It's real tequila and it's less than 1.5 grams of sugar. So like I said, drink of the summer. Whenever you're outside drinking, you're by the pool, you're by the beach, you're inside, you're at a bar, you're gonna wanna be drinking Mamitas because they make you feel good, they're light on your stomach, and they taste fucking awesome. Like I said, Mamitas uh, turned me into a tequila girl it weaned me into it now i order tequila at the club instead of vodka who am i i don't even know but mamita's changed my fucking life for the better because getting drunk on tequila is a lot more fun than getting drunk on vodka comes in six delicious flavors we have mango pineapple paloma lime new flavors spicy marg and tequila sunrise right now i'm really fucking with the spicy marg one so whatever your summer plans are make sure uh, mamita's tequila seltzer is part of it find it at drinkwithmamitas.com or pick up a variety eight pack at target walmart Publix, jewel osco or go puff if you haven't tried them yet I don't know what you're waiting for. It's the drink this summer. Let's get back to the show. Yeah. <laughs> so she I moved had the key in Friday. For maybe eight hours. Yeah. You had it. You had it for the first day. You lived there. Mm-hmm. Then we went out. You had it. You kept it for one whole night of going out, which yeah, was huge, huge for you. It was huge. She had the key, and then the next day. Oh yes, yeah, Saturday I lost it. We went 24 out. Twenty four hours. And then we go back. <sighs> Oh my god, we go back. We're sitting down. Grace's tiny little purse that all she had, all you had, and there was quarter and gums. You had chewed gum. I just and quarters. carry this around. It's no Prada. It's nothing special. But uh-huh. this is my bag, and I stick by it, just like I stick by my ugly <laughs> shoes. And everyone hates all my shoes. Well, they're pretty they're dirty, dirty and, awful. and awful. But what do you want me to put on my feet? You literally could buy new shoes. You buy so much other stuff. I just buy alcohol and clothes. You go shopping every day too. No, I don't. You, just, you buy a new outfit every day. 
Don't even act like you don't. Okay, let's run to my bank statement. <laughs> do you not go shopping every time you need an outfit? You're right. Yes. You're so right, but now I'm not going to do that anymore because... Save up and buy shoes? Yes, I'm going to save up and buy shoes, save up. And... <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. I need uh, anyone, um, like a like a money like a money person, like a money, like help me with my money. Uh, Invest in money. Uh, financial, <laughs> financial advisor. Financial advisor, yes. Give me one of those. <laughs> yes. Do you okay. have to pay for those? That yes. seems like a fucking you ridiculous have, joke. You have to pay a lot for them. Perfect. Thank you, Hannah. We have them in our benefits. I don't even take advantage of any benefit. Oh, yes. Uber Eats every week, month. I need to bucks? start. You know what? I need to get uh, health insurance because I have this cat scratch that's infected on my hand and it's starting to impair my judgment. Is that right? <laughs> it's affecting everything. I can't use my left arm and it's it turning green. It just happened yesterday, didn't it? Um, Three days ago. <laughs> it seems like yesterday though, but it's yeah. turning green and I didn't clean it and cat scratches aren't good. They're no. dirty. Yes. So I'm in trouble here. Feline AIDS. Yes. Well, here's what I'm excited for. I start a new thing. What did you start? Instead of mad cow disease, mad cat disease. And then I go crazy. And then you're going to get it. And you're going to get it. And you're going to get it. Because we're all in this room together. Yes. And then we all go crazy. Well, I'm already pretty crazy. Yeah, I'm feeling absolutely <laughs> fucking insane. I, I haven't seen either one of us blink. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this is not feeling well. We had like a pretty crazy weekend, and on Wednesday last week we made this we made this like fucking oath. We might as well have like cut our hands open and like spat and shook on it. Yeah, because Jesus Christ, we were so in on making a change. Yes, well, see, we but we we recognized we had two parties to throw. And that's work, to be honest, though. Yes, you're right. And I can't personally. I have such bad social anxiety. Like I can't do those things sober. No, which is fucked up because I have to do them all the time. But it's like I can't do those things sober, and that's starting to freak me out. Yes, yes, I totally cannot. <laughs> I totally cannot do I that know. sober. And that's what I'm like. Okay, do you think you have social anxiety? Totally. I can't talk to anyone unless I'm drunk. <laughs> really? Like, be honestly open and funny. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Same. <laughs> so that's where we, that's uh, where we fall. That's yeah. our struggle right there. But I mean, I don't think that's entirely true. I think the events that we do, like, you can't just do that sober, like jump up and like that. Yeah. That kind of shit. It's like, yeah. like absolutely I can, not. I can do like the meet and greets and shit. Like, I know. No, I can't. No. No, I get blacked out all the time. Yeah, every single yeah. one. But that's kind of, they make me get blacked out. It's kind of like the whole experience. I know, but I mean. Uh, all my, we do is justify and enable. It's fucking ridiculous. If my brain it's, is feeling like porridge every day. Yeah. You know. Yeah, it's time. Yeah. But we don't have a, a lot to do coming up. We can kind of take some breaks. We're going to Rufus. Yeah, we're going to Rufus on Friday. On Friday. On and what are we going to do on Friday? Well, I can't. Uh, you have to do shrooms at Rufus. Yes. But uh, shrooms are fine. I'm just like, you know, I'm, I can't stay out until 6 a.m. anymore. Yeah. That's what I think is the worst thing. We had some early nights this week. Yes, we went to bed at 11, we went to bed at 10, and we went to bed at 12. So what are we even complaining about? Well, actually, <laughs> Friday, was, Friday was 4. Oh, Friday was 4. 4, 11, 12. Yes. Perfect. But it's usually 9 a.m., 9 a.m., 9 a.m. Yeah, that's actually, we took it down a notch. Yeah, we could just did. keep taking it down a notch One a notch at a time. Bit, yeah. One notch at you a time. You can't just, like, cut yourself off to cold turkey from the late, late nights. You no, know? we can't. Uh, Josh Richards is in New York this week. I can't wait to kiss him oh. on the lips. Oh, my God. Will you steal him well, from Nessa? Well, Nessa doesn't care. She said I could actually just take him on a walk and talk to him. Oh, <laughs> for closure? <laughs> yeah. For closure? Yeah, because, well, we had some unfinished business mm, from Vegas. spring break. Oh. And. Oh, my God. What happened? Well, Tell me more. Because like, you guys kept did kept disappearing together. Yeah. So he really wanted to go to the candy store because he's little. Mm -hmm. And so <laughs> I took him to the candy store. No sexual in induendos there. Ooh, okay. Induendos. No, induendos. yes, do it. Say no it, sexual it. induendos there. Mm -hmm. Anyways, <laughs> no I, bought him, I bought him three lollipops. The twirly long ones. Ooh, I love those. The big circle one. Yeah. And then a, just a regular blow pop. Okay. He really liked the blow pop. Oh, shit. Mm -hmm. So he got comfortable. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So he's licking his little blow pop. I'm walking him around. We're holding hands. We're walking towards... Um, Wait, when you guys hold hands, do you hold hands like this or do you hold hands like this? We just kind of do... We just kind of like braise them. Oh, okay. So you just do this? Yeah. Like, say you were to hold yeah. my hand like Josh. Like that. Oh, okay. It's very cute. It's like very platonic. Yeah. And he's so soft. Mm-hmm. Because, you know... So where's the sex come in? There's no sex... 
Okay, so what's your unfinished business? We just had a really, really, really long kiss. Oh my God, how long was it? Like five minutes. Oh my God, was it longer than the uh, standing no ovation time, for the Elvis movie? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> no way. No, it wasn't because that was 13 minutes. Yeah, it was 12, I think. Fuck. Fuck that guy. I hate him. I hate him. He never will ever stop talking like Elvis. Oh my God. Like, fucking I, well, relax. I saw I a video you. of Austin Butler. Is this name fucking Austin Butler? Austin right? Butler. I saw a video of Austin Butler today and he's saying, thank you so much for making this film possible. Who are you? Oh, yeah, what? Seriously, you why the Disney fuck? You Disney character three fucking why many did, years what, ago. Do, what is he from any? Do you love him? I, re, um, oh, he's cute for sure. I get yes. it. He's cute. He's, he's hot. He's not that cute. He's blonde. Have you guys ever heard of the Carrie Diaries? <laughs> yes, I watched. Oh, yes. so wait, he was I in the Carrie Diaries, and he was so cute in that. Yeah, he was dreamy in that. And actually. he also was um, beastly. You ever heard of beastly? Or beasted? I think it's beastly. So he's been doing shit. Yeah, uh, yeah I mean, like not. I am number <laughs> hey, four. Oh wait, no, that's not. Carrie that's Diaries doesn't really a count. different guy. Beastly, Cancel, he like right? is the opposite of Snow White. He's evil, and then he turns into a beast, and then he has to l- learn to be nice to turn okay. back into a normal person. <gasps> but he hasn't really done anything big. That's what I'm I saying. Would so say why does he get the big, huge role? Miles Teller should have. He looks like fucking yeah. Elvis Presley. I know. He really. I got Miles. into a fight with E! News on fucking TikTok, <laughs> and I w- they posted about, this was like weeks ago, <laughs> they posted about um, w- fucking Butler p- playing, and I commented, this is a fucking disgrace. Like, this should be Miles Teller. And he had blonde hair in the video. I'm like, why the fuck didn't they dye his hair black for the film? And they're responding, his hair is black in the film. Like, this is just not from the film. And I'm like, whatever, this is so fucking stupid. It should be Miles Teller. Everyone's replying can in the comments, relax. Can you picture the the girl our age running the E! News account? Yeah, saying, like, relax, like, come Jesus, on. this Brianna girl's kind of nuts. I was so pissed. I just am so pissed. And I'm also so pissed that everyone's just finding out about Miles Teller. I know. It's like, oh You guys God. saw Top Gun, right? Yeah. 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 So, yeah. all right. Everyone loved it. I loved it. I... Didn't watch the first one. The first mistake. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I, yeah, I had no idea what was going but on. But I did think it was going to be more about Miles Teller. I thought Miles Teller was going to be his son. And I also thought there was going to be, like, I thought I was going to see <laughs> yeah, him so naked. I thought, see I thought I thought I was going to see him naked, and I'm kind of upset about that. <laughs> well, we were, well, I wanted we were to see his ass. We thought that he was going to have a girlfriend, and there was going to yeah. be sex scenes. We there was nothing the whole time. That. Where's and his I girlfriend? <laughs> and I don't even care about sex scenes in movies, but Miles Teller, oh, like, oh, come oh, on. Well, he did just have his shirt off a couple times. He did, but I want to see that ass. <laughs> yes. I don't want to see Tom Cruise kissing an old fucking hag. His teeth don't even line up the right way oh my god i just hate tom cruise personally because scientology scares me and i think that he would kill me if he was a room alone with me he's a psycho murderer i'm psycho murderer <laughs> yeah psycho murderer i hate tom cruise i want miles teller he's to be a the main modern character. day miles manson charles <laughs> <laughs> yes miles, miles manson. manson can't stop thinking about miles teller yes. i really have what dreams about miles teller and mm-hmm. i'm so upset that everyone right now is just loving mustaches how many times did i have to tell everyone mustaches were great and then they just take miles teller to prove it top gun all right guys quick commercial break so father's day is right around the corner actually that's good to know because i forgot about that so i'm definitely going to be getting manscape package 4.0 uh for my dad or for any man in your life this father's day the performance package 4.0 includes the lawnmower 4.0 which is skin safe electric trimmer weed whacker ear and nose hair trimmer my dad's gonna need i might need this too honestly uh but my dad would love a a weed whacker ear nose trimmer and it comes with the crop preserver anti-chafing ball deodorant this is great come on shoot your dad's crop reviver ball spray toner okay all right performance boxer briefs and a travel bag to hold it all seriously though i feel like men need to keep themselves groomed and they don't really know how to do that they don't know what products to buy so manscape makes it easy it comes with everything that you need especially uh this 4.0 kit the lawnmower 4.0 is waterproof it has 400k led spotlights he needs for more precise shave we all know dads love their comfort and the boxers 2.0 are here to save every father from the uncomfortable heat whether he's mowing the lawn grilling out there moving the trash doing what dads do ladies you can buy this for your man and dog daddies you deserve this treat too so you can get 20 percent off plus free shipping with code brie at manscaped.com that's 20 percent off with free shipping at manscaped.com and use code brie Let's get back to the show. Oh, also, I said, and, and Top Gun is propaganda, right? Because, yeah. because I, after seeing that movie, I literally said to Grace, if I saw the first Top Gun when I was a kid, 
I would I would have went to the Navy mm-hmm. and I would be in the sky right now. Yes. And that, so that's a propaganda right there. Oh, I don't really like action movies that much, but boy, was I on the edge of my seat. Oh my God, I was driving a <laughs> plane. And I wish I saw it in 40X. Oh my God, I know. <laughs> that's where I, I saw it in the Dolby Theater. That's you saw 40X? Yeah, it's not 40X, but it's like the extra <laughs> sound and like the better like uh, screen and stuff. Oh, okay. uh, we it were was watching it crazy. Like it felt yes. like we were. I was in the plane. That's it was so cool. So it was wild. Awesome. Yeah. Maybe we should re-see it. Yeah, I'm Two down. Rooms? No mushrooms. Okay. For today, please. No, not today. I not can't today. do that. Actually, there was a bar in my purse when I came, and I said, take this out of your purse. So, yeah. Yes, I took it out of my purse, and you I did? left it on my couch, and I'm scared the cats are eating it. Brianna. Oh, my God. You're that such is a bad such kitty, a bad Brianna. thing to do. <laughs> what if I came well. home, and they're just flying? <laughs> Maybe when cats can eat drugs, they fly. And get power. That's incredible. That's incredible. I feel like we would see more cats flying then. Yeah, true. <laughs> <laughs> no, these cats are just out here for life. Oh, my God. There's <laughs> Imagine I just oh, well, oh, That's I a just cool picture, cat. I just picture <laughs> opening my door and all my objects are in the air. <laughs> oh no! Yes. Brianna broke her brain. Yes. No, I'm so scared, and I can't stop doing this with my hands. Jeez, that I need a, have you guys watched Stranger Things yet? Yes. Did you watch it all? I just it finished the first season, or so not first season. Um, the most recent season. Is is there two parts to this? Yeah, July first, the second part comes out. Oh. Um, yes. I know. I didn't know that either. So with the ending, I was like, that was the most unsatisfying ending. But July first. Okay. Yeah, was okay. it good? I loved it. Okay, I, I have Stranger such things. a soft spot for Stranger Things. Me they, too. They basically do the same thing every season, but I eat it up every I time. <laughs> I, I was thinking the same thing. I'm like, it's kind of like the same thing over and over, but it's so good. It's so good. I didn't finish it, but the internet kind of ruined it for me. So mm, it's like, yeah, that tends to happen. Yeah, I just love they're just That's a band me. of mischievous, funny yes. little kids. I, and I love just love those it. little fucking kids. <laughs> yeah. I love ki- I love shows with kids. Yeah, like Super Eight. I like that movie a lot. Oh yeah, yeah. Super Eight's so good. Yeah. Um, but they're all like huge now and it's kind of freaking me out. Um, Millie Bobby Brown's kind of a bitch. We thought so. So we were thinking, (laughs) so we watched hot ones and we're like, eh, she's probably kind of a bitch. She kind of seems like she's a bitch. She's super hot now. And how are they letting her be a producer? She's 12 and a half. She's like 17 now, right? 18 officially. It was a very big deal. I think they're all 18. Okay. Now. Yeah. She's looking great. Yeah. She looks smoke show hot, but she knows it. Yeah. And that's the problem. No, I think she's, I think if we met her, she'd be cool. I don't think so, love. Have you ever seen the videos of her and Noah Schnapp? Yes. They're so funny. They're besties. <laughs> yeah, they're besties. They're I, cute. I feel but like she's she'd yelling be nice. at them. But we yell at each other. Truth. <laughs> <laughs> People think we're so mean to each other. It's so crazy. I know. Well, there was a clip that went out last week oh, that, yeah. of us being so hostile to each other. And it was, I thought but it was funny. I didn't even think we were being hostile. Everyone's saying, I'm not loving I'm not loving the beef, ladies. Yeah, I'm like, are you guys stupid? We're just do you kidding have, like, around. Do you have friends, though? Like, do you ever, like, <laughs> argue with, like, your friend? Like, do you have a best friend? Yeah. Like, yeah. it's, like, kind of crazy. You, you, you can talk to your friends like that. Like, you can argue with your friends. It's not like we were Some saying we hate each other. people just have surface-level friends. Yeah, that sucks. That does suck. Mm-hmm. I would Thanks hate that a lot. I'd rather have one real friend than 20 fake friends, and that's a fact on God to my mama. Truth. Yeah. You have um, any facts you want to spit? What did you... What did you think of um, Saturday event? What's that? The event we did on Saturday. Yes, let me think. <laughs> it was great. Saturday we went to uh, this place called Summer Club, and it's in New York, and it's like a roof. Have you ever been to Summer Club, Gia? No. It's Is it in Queens? Yeah, but it's like right over the bridge, so yeah. it's like 14 minutes from my apartment. But it's specifically. Fucking, yeah. Well, I remember because I was like, we're gonna be late. We're gonna be late. And I need to get this Uber because um, we couldn't get up that day because we stayed out too long the night before. Yeah. Anyways, it's um, it's like a rooftop pool place, and it doesn't feel like you're in New York. Like it's the coolest like Miami. place ever. Yeah, I didn't think that something like that in New York existed. Yeah, and I want to go back. If you're in New York and you don't escape, because I feel like a lot of people escape for the summer. Yeah, but you can escape because you can't just go to the Hamptons whenever you want. You should go to this club. It's fun. It feels like you're like on vacation and not in the city. I had a great, I had a great day that day. Yeah, that day and we called really it fun. early. Yeah, we did. And we we ended the night on my um my unfinished roof. I don't know what you would call it. Like it's not like a real roof. You're not supposed to go up there. But like we grabbed pillows, blankets, and watched uh, the Empire State Building change colors. Yes, we did. <laughs> it was cool. We also watched um, uh, shooting stars that weren't shooting stars. 
Yeah, yeah that's because we were shooting our stars in our head. Yeah. <laughs> we were shooting our stars in our head. And we thought we were on this roof alone, right? Oh, my And God. we're being crazy up there, just cracking jokes and saying, like, saying we, some, I mean, like, saying, borderline crazy saying stuff, stuff like that we would say on this podcast. But, like, yes. no one, uh, but innocent bystander wouldn't understand. Yes. And uh, I get this DM in the morning. And well, you, you said, oh, I think I just heard someone. I'm like, you're being crazy. Yeah, and it's pitch black up there. So she's like, no way you heard me. I'm like, I swear to God, I fucking heard someone. And then I get this fucking DM. Okay, so I get this DM. Hey, you were on my roof earlier. I was the guy who looked like a mentally ill Italian. I didn't want to interrupt, but love your content. <laughs> That's so That's funny. So funny. I, mentally ill Italian? I'm sure we would have like loved so to talk to this guy. What does that, what does that like? look like? I yeah. wish he would come up. He, uh, he was no. probably freaking out or something if uh, he was no. feeling mentally ill yeah. and Italian. We must have all been on the same page. <laughs> yeah, we were all. I was feeling mentally ill and Italian. I kind of want that on a shirt. Yeah, mentally, mentally ill Italian. Mentally Ill Italian. <laughs> That's great. I gotta DM this guy and say, "Can we use that?" <laughs> uh, yeah, I didn't. Never DM'd him back, but I should. That was funny. Yeah, we also met another kid who was pretty crazy this weekend. Not uh, remembering. Um, he, he, we gave him his n- our numbers for some reason. Oh, because he wanted to come on the podcast. And we're like, yeah, we'll have you on the podcast. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and what did this kid say? Oh well, because he he comes, we we go to this club and he sits next to us and he goes. Mean Girl Pod, fucking hate them. And we were like, what the hell? What the hell? Why? You, you can't make that face. Why can't we talk about I'm it? I'm just laughing. <laughs> <laughs> and we're like... It is quite interesting. It was, it was so random. This like guy was just like, no, how do you feel about Allie Bennett? We're like, oh yeah. Who's Allie, Allie Bennett? <laughs> Who's Allie Bennett? And he goes, Mean Girl Pod, fuck them. I'm like, what are you talking? What, what do they do to you? And he goes, Allie Bennett, fuck her. We're, we're like, Alex? Yeah, she's great. She's nice. Yeah, he's like, not like fuck Alex. Alex. I'm like, and he's like, well, okay. you, you don't fuck with Jordan, right? Yeah. And we're like, what the hell? I'm like, why do you hate them so much? <laughs> he hated them so fucking much. He hated he, them. His like, ex-girlfriend <laughs> must like listen to them or yeah. something. And, and he, he was sitting right next to us. So he, he just wouldn't he shut was up. Just like, so what else do you think about them? We're like, I, we they are nice to us. You got to leave us alone, bro. Yeah, and he goes, well, I'm going to have to come on the podcast and talk about it. I'm like, you know what? Yeah, fine. Yeah, we and said, so yeah, we come. Came, so I just shut up. I still think he should come on the podcast. <laughs> so his name was Bernie. Yes. Hit us, hit us up that night at two in the morning. Bernie, please state name so I can save correctly. This was a hidden message. Numbers safe with me. <laughs> Oh, God. said he's giving out your number to everyone. Oh, yeah. Just please do not add Alex to this chat. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck? And then... Um, the we haven't had answered any of them, No, right? none of these. And then the next morning he said, Hey, guys, thanks for the invite, but I'm not going to make it today. Rain check. This is a joke because you didn't invite me anywhere. <laughs> I mean, I think crazy. this kid's hilarious. Like, he's like, we should have him on the podcast. We should have him on the podcast. Well, maybe we could just, like, hang out with him. Yeah, I don't know. Bernie, what do you do? I don't even remember what he looks like. Bernie. 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 Bernie's Bernie, getting Bernie, up standing Bernie, over Bernie, right now. Bernie. For what? For literally nothing. For literally what? <laughs> yeah, but Bernie, yeah, if you want to come on, whenever. Doors are open. Yeah, literally just text, just text us again. Us. We might yeah. not answer them. <laughs> um, so that was that day. Saturday was fun. I had a fun weekend, but it's, I'm paying for it right now in my brain. And But here's the thing. You can't um, <clears> have all this fun and then not expect to feel like shit yeah know? that's exactly that's, that's what i've accepted that's exactly what i was but thinking but i'm feeling a little bit better than usual yeah because i we didn't drink very heavily no we just did a lot of shrooms yes yes so i mean that's good that's we're taking it down a notch but we're bringing it up on another notch so i don't understand where these notch levels are going yeah, <laughs> it's I mean, kind of like, like dj uh, system yeah 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 <laughs> yeah are you gonna get back into dj but um i felt like uh, we just like didn't talk about it and we kind of need to talk about it so TiVo got reassigned from what we were doing um for the college tours like the last three ones they moved him and gave us another guy and they just like reassigned him to do other stuff so I don't know that was like a big falling out because it was it was shitty like we, we we were going through a lot of different things all at the same time and yeah. that just so happened to happen and it just uh, didn't play out very well. Yeah, so... It, it wasn't handled correctly, I believe. Yeah, so um, he got moved from our shit, and he was still working here, but then he got, like, taken uh, out of our stool because I guess, like, there was just not enough stuff for him to do, and also the tour was gone, so we didn't we don't need anyone anymore But we right didn't now. know that that was going to happen. Yeah, so we had no idea. Like, obviously, we don't talk... Like, that's not our job. Like, we don't talk to higher-ups about who's having a job and who's not having a fucking job. So we had no idea that was coming. And then we came into work one day, and that was the day that everyone was getting fired. And we were like, 
what the fuck? I had no idea this was coming. Also, we're never like really here. We're always doing other shit. Like our work is kind of outside of the office besides Plan Brie and then BFFs for me. So we just come in to do that. And we came in and everyone's like, it was the weirdest day in the office. Everyone was like super stressed out, like wondering if they're going to have a job or not. And I'm like, what? What's going on? And I guess like it makes sense every couple of years, like they have to like reevaluate and people that aren't making the company money or people that they just don't have room for, they have to like get rid of, mm-hmm. which like that's every company does that. Yeah. So, but it's just weird here because it's such a different dynamic you're kind of friends with everyone that you work with it's not like a it's not like a regular job where it's like oh oh yeah guy on desk number two got fired so it's like oh and it's interesting too because um even like the barstool fans will understand like who these behind the scenes people are too yeah like it's not just us in the office like there's so many people that know and watch and like know the people behind the camera so it's just like super weird and i had no idea that tiva was like that even was getting fired like even the day that it happened i didn't know and then someone told me i'm like what the fuck because it's just like shitty like it feels like that was like on us even though it wasn't and uh yeah so tivo isn't with us anymore and i'm getting a lot of dms and questions about it and i figured we might as well just you know tell you what happened it seems like he's doing good though he's on tour with a band yeah i mean he's really talented at everything he's great he's great at what he does but um it just wasn't a fit for us and clearly there was just like uh there's a lot of producer producers in production here i think it's the hardest to get a job for that at barstool yeah like there's just so many people fighting to do like the same thing and there's so many talented people so yeah, I mean, I wish him the best of luck. I'm sure he hates our guts, but, yeah. Wish, wish he didn't. Yeah. It's okay. I don't Shit like happens. when people don't like me. Yeah, I know, but, you know, that's life, man. Not Who everyone's going to like love me you. the other day? A lot of people don't like you. We made a list. Yeah, we did make a list. Yeah. I don't even think I can air out that list. No, we can't air that list Fuck. out. Yeah, but... For but no there's me. some very close people to me that don't like me. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know why. Yeah, you know what? We're not everybody's cup of tea. I understand that, but I'm not that bad of a person. (laughs) That doesn't mean you're a bad person. It just means you're not everyone's cup of tea. Uh, That's too bad. You're a lot of people's cup of tea, though, that listen to this podcast. I'm a lot of people's cold brew. Mm. Ooh. Ooh. (laughs) Who's cold brew? What kind of... So you think you're cold brew? I think I'm cold brew. Mm. Cold brew. Yeah, cold (laughs) brew. Yeah. Anyways. Uh, um, Feels good. Yeah, it's good to be alive sometimes. (laughs) But not all the time. Yes. But I'm feeling. But right now I feel great. More. I don't feel great. But I'm feeling more (laughs) and more. um, (laughs) Happy to be alive. Well, um, you know, that's a working towards a good thing. Mm -hmm. Uh Uh-huh. But I'm feeling more and more optimistic. Oh, I like that word. Yes. I think maybe one day. Everything's gonna be okay. Well, now that I have my new my new home, I feel like I can make some some healthy choices and changes and put a routine into my life. Because yeah. when you sleep on a couch, it's really hard to get your yeah. shit together. I think you having a place now, like to call your own and not feeling like you're trapped in a living room, which I I can't thank you enough for. Thank you for that beautiful month that we shared together. Well, yeah, but no one wants to live on a couch for a month. No, like, I, I mean I, I didn't want to complain, but it it's not fun. Yeah, it's not fun to live on a couch for but, a month. I would have been homeless, so yeah, I know. Yeah, you yeah, take yeah. what you can get. But now I think you will have structure and you'll feel better and you won't be like, oh, I just woke up on a couch. I want to kill myself. Absolutely that. Yeah, so it's good for you. Maybe I need to get a new house. I think you should get a new house. Because <laughs> can't. Yours is turning into hell. Yes, everything bad happens there. It's so there. awful there. I it's hate like, it. for some reason, it has a bad, like, juju. Like, yeah. I don't know. Ever since, I don't know. That's just, like, not. It's it doesn't not, feel like a home. No, it feels like hell. It feels like. Like, you're dark. stuck and dark. It's so dark. It's so dark. And I like, live in, like, an old building. Like, it's a super big apartment, but it's, like, old. And there's got to be... I think I'm haunted, though. Everywhere I go turns haunted in hell. Yeah. So I think I need to... You need to find a place where you can... Sage. Forever. Forever home. Yes. Well, I still want to move to California in November. In November, yeah. Mm-hmm. So that's another thing we talked about in, on Wednesday, that we're more and more serious about moving in november yeah well because my lease i can't move until november Mm -hmm. so i'm like stuck and uh i just think like a switch up is nice even if it is just for like six months i also we were talking about we had like a very serious conversation and even like the shit that we talked about drinking and partying like that's like our job and we're gonna have to figure that out but we had like a lot of other conversations where i feel like the past I don't know, like year, not year, but like six months at least six months. We've just been very uh, like complacent and it feels like we're not like we're just we've been like lazy in life. Like it just feels like we're not like trying to do better. And I think it has a lot to do with like the people and the things that we like surround ourselves with. Like 
if you're hanging out with people that just want to party all the time and like don't really care to like see you in the daylight or like do <laughs> other activities other than party like of course you're gonna get stuck in this routine where it's like I love these people but at the same time it's like it's not healthy just to have party friends and I feel like a lot of our friends are kind of turning into that yeah. and it's like making us just be unmotivated and I used to be so motivated and I just feel like I'm falling off of that and I don't want to because we have so much at our fingertips and like so much potential and we could be so successful and not just what we're doing here but just like in life and feel better and Mm -hmm. I feel like we're like stuck it was a really tough realization but we it was something we had to we had to talk about and address. Yeah. And, and this was like a sober conversation. Yes, it was. <laughs> for the ones that are probably wondering. <laughs> all right, guys, quick commercial break. So it's the bender lifestyle. All of you guys that listen to this, at least half of you, do the same shit that we do. We're always on a bender. It's summertime. When the heat comes, the drinking comes, the hangovers are going to hit. The only way to help with your hangover, the only way I know how to help my hangover is with Revitalite, especially Revitalite Black Label. Revitalite Black Label is made specifically for you guys. It's packed extra with everything. Also, my favorite pro tip I tell you guys all the time but I think you need to remember a little more because it helps a lot you drink half before you start drinking your alcohol then you go out get fucked up wake up drink the rest you're gonna feel a lot better it's my favorite hangover helper and like I said black label is uh bar stools so it's specifically made for you guys for stoolies and I love seeing you guys drink it so pick up your Vitalite black label today in store or online at the bar stool store and tweet us and tag us at drink Revitalite in your morning after stories I love Revitalite we all love Revitalite get on the Revitalite black label train let's get back to the show we went and got like, like we have a lot of like the drunk nights where we have this conversation but it was like a real we went out to dinner oh the night grace oh my god it was yeah it was last tuesday when i was begging, begging and to, go to, dinner. to go to dinner because i think i just really wanted to talk yeah that's fine you should just say that i i love to beat I around the bush want. i'm i am such a beat around the busher and i don't mean to be because i hate when people don't just directly say what they mean yeah it's very annoying um but, <laughs> but she we went to dinner and it was it was fine i mean the food was horrible and it was the worst place ever but uh, i hated it I didn't there. take one bite really it was disgusting it was i hated close. it so when you were begging to go there i'm like what the fuck i just wanted to try drinks it. were great drinks were great so we had two <laughs> drinks <laughs> But like it's not like a blackout no, we had night. Two drinks. You have to have drinks at dinner. What the fuck? Or it's a, it's a, it's a it's actually it's fucked up if you don't drink at dinner because <laughs> then the waitress doesn't get tipped enough. Yeah. Okay. So we had two drinks each, which is like I mean it takes us twenty pack to get a buzz. So we yeah. weren't drunk, and we're having this conversation. We're talking about how you also I don't know what you want to talk about, but I yeah, think it's aired nice up. to talk about just, what we talked about. Yes, I think so too. I think because you guys always say that um, it helps you out, and if my struggle is your your um, gain, then that is perfect for me. You are a poet. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy get your pen out get that paper going okay. okay so she and we I mean we were just airing it all out of yeah. like all of our shit but um I feel like you I've been getting it out like in on my own and I feel like you just have been holding it in so you needed to like verbalize yes. it and you were talking about how you feel like you kind of like wrote yourself off as like this character that you don't even know yeah so that's that's something that brings tears to my eyes all the time jesus christ but um, also i think we've lost a little bit on this podcast where it used to have a little more meaning and we're kind of just always talking nonsense and being funny which is great but yeah. i think we're losing the part that matters so it's nice <laughs> to talk about this stuff yeah so i i last year i came home from a, uh, a work trip from my old job and i <clears throat> i had i was like on a bender or whatever and i'm and i just I came home and I'm like, I fucking lost myself. I turned myself into a fucking bit, which is like hilarious and to a point, unless like you don't get taken serious. So I had this conversation like a year ago today with Brianna and I, that was my first time I ever asked you for a hug. Mm-hmm. And then just recently I, we had the conversation last week and it's only gotten worse. Like yeah. I am just completely all right with being some dumb, drunk, idiot character in my own life Mm -hmm. and you can't just write yourself as a character you're a i'm a person and i i'm like completely lost who i am i'm turning into someone pretty nuts i like i'm borderline not myself um but i don't know who myself is anymore so it's like it's just like crazy like uh do i have i have just well this is what we were talking about (laughs) (laughs) so you feel like you kind of turned yourself into like this not like bit because like the bits like that's like you always been you you do like funny jokes and you do do bits but yes. you feel like you turned yourself into like making everyone believe that you're like this stupid person that like can't read and can't <laughs> fucking make up or like you're just stupid which is just not true because yes. like I've known you forever you're not a stupid person and I feel like you you are stressed out because you think 
the people on the internet and your career relies on that and you think people only like you because like you're this character and what I was trying to tell Grace is like that's so not true I think people like you for just like you're charismatic like the way that you are you're funny and you feel like you need to like play it up and be stupid so that you're more relatable which just like isn't true and I think people can kind of see through that and see that it's a bit that's why people like all the mean comments are really just directed at us being like like what the fuck you're trying so hard what are you even doing and if you I think were gen like like genuinely just yourself I think people would like you even more and I think that's where you struggle because you're scared that it would be the opposite and but then also the problem I have is like I don't, I, I have a hard time differentiating what's real and what's not. Yeah, it's I know. Like, it's like, am I doing this? crazy. Not, not like, is this wall real? But it's yeah. like, am I actually doing this because, like, I want to say it? Or am I just trying to be funny? Or, yeah. like, am I actually I funny? I do try to go over the top and be nuts. But, like, sometimes I just end up being an asshole. And it's like, yeah, I'm not an asshole. <laughs> yeah, no. And also, I think what sucks about this job, like, there's obviously a lot of great things about it. But what does suck about it is you because we always have to be on and Mm -hmm. we at least for me I feel like I have to like always act a certain way because I feel like people are always watching or like if I'm not acting a certain way people are gonna stop and then like our career's over and then that translates into real life like off camera yeah and it's like what like is there an on switch like or are we just like morphing into this person that's like a character yeah is it like is it something we can turn off and on or are we just is this who we are this just who like we're turning ourselves into and we always say we would never change yeah but like where where did it where did it change i don't necessarily think we're like changing i just think we're like getting we're like exaggerating the things that you that that were true about us Mm -hmm. but like we're losing sight with like real life a little bit yeah and that's something i never wanted to do yeah so and that's why we were saying California would be like a nice reset. We wouldn't know anyone. We're kind of forced to like, I don't know, figure out what we are outside of New York and like outside of doing this shit. And I think it would be interesting because I don't think anyone get, would give a shit about us when we first get there. Oh my God. Yeah, it would be great. It I was saying like, that too. Like here, no like influencers really live here and like you go out to bars and stuff and like you're not going to see all these people that you follow on the internet. Like, LA everyone there is at least trying or already is famous and it's like no one's gonna we're not gonna feel like we always have to be on and like stressed about like followers seeing us or meeting us it's like we can kind of just like be ourselves and another thing we would we said we would be excited for is um there's more like-minded people out in LA yeah. that are doing the same thing and that want to make content all the time and it would just keep us more motivated because Mm -hmm. the people we hang out with now they don't necessarily get what we do and what we want to do is more mm-hmm. and it's hard to do more when the people around you aren't even understanding what you're doing yeah like if, if that we, makes sense if like we're in california and we're hanging out with people that already do what we do like it wouldn't even feel like work like we're collabing and we're making videos and we're just hanging out and like we're brainstorming and when you're hanging out with people that do the same thing as you or like are just motivated in the same sense it, it just changes like the way that you're feeling and yeah. here it feels like oh I want to make this video but like we're with our friends and is it embarrassing like do I do I always want to be on my phone do I always want to do this and then if we're like with people that just do that and they get it yeah. it doesn't feel like awkward or a chore or like oh I don't want to do that right now I'll do it later push it off shit and like I'm that. sure there's people here in New York that do do that but I just we don't currently run in those circles yeah so it's like it's just hard to get away yeah so I think that changing the scenery and just like surrounding ourselves with people that do the same shit would help us overall. Mm. Yeah. And you know what? It could not. And we were saying that if it doesn't, we literally just come back. We have a, we also have a two week trial coming up in July. Yeah. We're so. Cool. so we're going to be there for two weeks and uh, we can see if we actually even like, like being in California. Mm-hmm. And um, I think it's going to be a good little test for us. Yes. Also, if we do move, we could do monthly. Like it's it's not like nothing is permanent. And also, I was saying, if we look back when we're older and say, f- like when we're like thirty five, and if we have kids, like you, there's no like other time to move to California and like do what you want to do. And yeah, like, this is the time to do, especially what we're doing. Like this isn't always going to be here forever. And I, I was just like, I know I'm going to regret it. So quite frankly, I'm moving, mm-hmm. and I have to. And like, you were like, you know, it all makes sense. Like I want to too. Yeah, and also. <laughs> we also <laughs> realized we kind of have uh, codependency issues, yeah. which we've talked about before, but like, I'm not 
letting you go in a new uh, <laughs> away yeah. without me. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, one way or another, I was going to drag her to come, but I was just saying, I'm going anyways. <laughs> I knew she was coming, and I knew that I would make her come, or I knew that you wanted to. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's just, I don't know. We were also saying, um, we're kind of just, like, wives at this point. Like, we're just like, yeah. it's okay. Yeah. Because we were saying, oh, is it codependency? Oh, no, we just, like, we're just We're just going to do this for life. <laughs> And like that's we it. We actually got married. Yeah, <laughs> we should get married for a bit. I know, but that's legally a thing. Fine, but on my end. <laughs> <laughs> but then, what if like we want to get married to um, a lover? We'd have to get. Oh uh, well, we send a prenup, babe. Or we could do. Or we could do um, sister wife shit. I'm in. Okay. Okay. All right. I like the way this is going. <laughs> I like this. Okay. So we're getting married soon. All right. Maybe we should get married when we go to Reno in next week. <laughs> oh, gosh. And we have a live show coming up. <laughs> yes. Uh, we know this. We tell them every day. I know, but I just want them to know one more time. Yes. I'm they actually week excited for tickets. that. I'm actually, um, it's really crazy that we're going to be at the House of Blues. I know. It's such a full circle turn of events. I know. Hopefully we don't get jumped this time. We should hire people to fake jump you on stage. That's awesome. Right. I might scare my mom. Well, <laughs> we could tell mom before that this is crazy. Okay. okay. Maybe we'll do that. But now we just told them our prank. But hey, maybe they're not all listening. <laughs> no, we'll test we'll test the truthers. Also, we're stressed out that the fucking Celtics winning could line up possibly with our live show and then no one's gonna come. Knock on that fucking wood. I dude. mean I, I am so in on the Celtics. This is So if the Celtics I don't know, I don't I don't know sports. The Celtics, so, so it may line up that the Celtics could have the parade that day. It could, maybe, possibly. Okay. Seize let's, up. Let's hope. No, seize up. Let's just hope they lose a couple before so that they win. And then, yeah. Don't say stuff like that. No, it's more better. When it's more better. It's more better, <laughs> yes. It's, it's more better that way because then it's like, ooh, close game. Yes, they won it all. Yes. They don't want to sweep, but they already lost, so. Who knows? Who fucking knows? Who but knows? I, you know what? I just hope that parade is on on that day because we, it's our day. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's not the Celtics day. Come on. June 15th is us. The Celtics can have the 16th, yes, right? Please. And then you, you, again, the 17th. Yes, my birthday. Birthday next week. Birthday yes, next week. Yes, <laughs> I don't want that birthday. I'm actually really stressed out about that birthday. Why are you so worried about that birthday? Because that's a 23. 23 and Oh my me, God, baby. I can't believe I'm older than you. I know. <laughs> <laughs> 23. She that is so me for weird. being older than her. When's your birthday? February. Oh, yeah, not that much older. Yeah. But that's crazy. I'm a whole year, babe. You are a whole year. Pretty I always much. picture you guys like two or three years older than me. Yeah. Really? Yes. I just don't even understand that. Everyone Why? Where did you like no. <laughs> Maybe it's because, like, I work for you guys. So <laughs> yeah, I always maybe. Think that you guys are older. <laughs> I feel like we act like we're 17 sometimes. I don't think so. yeah. yeah, well, the party stuff, maybe. Yeah. yeah. But then also, I've always felt more mature for my age. Yeah, I did like hanging out with the moms and hearing them gossip when I was young, very yes. young. Yeah. Yes. Well, when you see, well, when I see my uncle D when I'm eight, I gotta, I gotta mature a little faster. What are you saying? <laughs> like when you do, when you have trauma when you're little, you mature faster. Oh, I know, but I, I missed what you oh, said. Oh, when you see your uncle OD when you're eight. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Sorry yeah. about no, that. No, no, that's fine. <laughs> your dad got electrocuted. I mean, these things happen. <laughs> yeah, they do. This is life, you know. I'm not. I'm not. Is I'm not crying. Life about is. It. What should we say? A roller coaster. <laughs> yes. And we're just riding it. Sometimes um, I want to unbuckle and get. I off. have some exciting news. Oh, oh my gosh, what? I got full time. Yeah! No way! Oh, hey! no, I was sitting on that the whole time. Fired and shit, and I, and I wanted to bring up that you you were still weren't hired yet. I know, and I, I was like, "Ooh, know what to say it. subject." Okay, to give I, us the details. Touchy. Yes. Yeah, so today I was just sitting at my desk doing some work, yes. and Blatman pulled me aside in the green screen room. Were you scared? No, I could kind of tell because earlier today Chase asked me if I wanted a Mac, like the big Mac. Oh, oh he ruined I was like, the surprise. Something's up for sure. And then he came over and he looked like excited. So I was like, <laughs> oh shit, like I think it's happening. And then it did happen. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. This, I can't yes. believe you sat on that the this, whole time. <laughs> this is a good, that's a good surprise. That's though. awesome. Yeah. I'm glad you sat on this. <laughs> I'm glad we got a live reaction. Yes, awesome. yes, yes. Yay, so, congratulations. Thanks, so now guys. we don't need to stress. Gia was actually really yes. fucking stressed. She's been yes. doing I was stressed. A like, lot. It's, uh, the interns got here before she was hired 
married after two years. <laughs> I know. And I'm like, dude, she's doing, I'm, I'm texting everyone I can. Hey, when's Gia getting hired? Yeah, like, what the fuck? Like, like, we got she's, plans, she's baby. She's doing so much <laughs> shit. And you, she doesn't just do this. Like, she does a lot of other shit. So I'm like, why the fuck isn't Gia hired? And you were stressing, like, so yes, much. Like, it's uh, it's, it's so easily stressful. been, like, the biggest weight off my shoulders. Like, <sighs> the past six months, I've just been constantly thinking, when am I going to get hired? When am I going to get hired? It's a terrible, hired? awful feeling. Because yeah. you're at somebody's, you're at somebody's, uh, Mercy. Mercy. Literally. <laughs> so. I guess. Yeah. On Saturday. Yeah. yeah. So it's great news. <laughs> Congratulations. Yay. Oh, that is like yes. awesome. All of us can relax. I love now. that I good know. feeling. I know. So now the LA oh, trip. So we, we are a yes. definite squad. Yes, yeah, forever. Squad. Squad girl forever. squad. Yes, I love girl, girl squad. squad. Yes. Yes. Uh, <laughs> yes. Hannah, Gia, Grace, Brianna to the moon. <laughs> yeah, literally. Oh, mm. that's awesome. March. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And also mentally ill Italian merch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we put Irish on one of them. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Because uh, them fuckers. If you crazy. just write Irish, people already know you're mentally ill. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you just have I'm Irish. Yeah. Well, I think that's a fantastic news. Story, that's though. a great yeah. way to end. Yes. I think so. So yes. everyone, text Gia. Yeah, text her number is 77. Seven, seven. <laughs> yes. No, everyone say congratulations to Gia. That's Thanks. awesome, Gia. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Hell yeah. That's all well deserved. Yeah. Yay, Gia. She's we worked love a little you. tiny ass off. <laughs> yes. All right. Cheers. All right. See you guys next week.